So for the optimistic cynic guy Shit, ho got a hell of a grip It's never a problem to niggas is piling and bitches they all Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy JRob447 back at it again with some NCAA Football 14 UNCW Dynasty. In this game, we are going up against the Vanderbilt Commodores. And this is our second home game, I believe. It might be our third, actually. But Vanderbilt, they're not a good team at all whatsoever when it comes to football. Maybe basketball. They do have a guy named John Collins who might end up getting drafted. So look out for him. But other than that, their football team is pretty trash. I mean... The academics are great, but on the gridiron, they're not like that. And that's exactly why we scheduled them, because we need some easy games, because we're not that great of a team either. But playing a team like this probably gives us a chance. So Vanderbilt won the kickoff. They elected to kick. So Jordan Robinson will take it from the five, and he's going up the sideline and only gets to the 27-yard line, resulting in a 22-yard return. So Devin Moore's going to take it out on the read option. He's got some blocks, and he picks up a big gain for 19 yards. So second and 13, we're running another option, this time speed option that only picks up four yards on that one, making it third and nine. So we're going to have to resort to the, you know, always reliable 5-1-8 hook, and Devin Moore finds Tim King for the first down a 24 yard reception so on first down and 10 we're in our little wildcat show right now Devin Hester excuse me Vernon Hester picks up five yards on that one so Vernon Hester is going to get the carry again and this time he's going to pick up the first down with about seven yards on that one so 457 left to go Devin Moore is going to Go on a play action, roll out to his right, but pass to his left to find Tim King over the middle for the 14 yard reception, making it second and goal. So, Tim King, I mean, excuse me, Devin Moore dropping back and he runs in to get the touchdown on his own, making it 6 0 Seahawks. That was a pretty good drive, honestly. We ran the ball pretty well, we threw the ball pretty well, and we got the result we definitely wanted. So, now the Commodores will have to respond, and they do not as Kyle Shermer gets sacked on that one. So we get the ball back on a second and 12. Devin Moore's running on the read option. He's got some good blocks, makes some nice cuts, and picks up 11 yards on that one, making it third and one. So he's already got 29 yards rushing. Let's see what he can do in the air on third and one. He's going to find his receiver, Willie McDowell, for the first down, making it making it a first down and 10 at the 30 not nah, not the 30 but like the 27 and oh what a beautifully placed pass for tim king making it 13 nothing devin moore four for four already 76 yards passing in one touchdown rushing and passing this guy's having a hell of a day already and it just started but the commodores they're looking to respond they're already in plus territory as ralph webb rushed for a nice gain right there so second and three the commodores are going to pass uh, hand it off to Ralph Webb again, but he cannot get traction as he gets stopped in his tracks. So Shermer's dropping back to pass. He sees some green grass in front of him, and he picks up the first down on that one. We got to get a spy on that because a lot of QBs in this game do that. But when it comes to the rush, we know how to stop it. Ralph Webb gets gobbled up in the backfield for negative one yards on that rush. So Shermer, he's rolling out to his right, finds Duncan for the near. Oh, it was a first down. So a first down and goal, excuse me, a third and goal now for the Commodores. And Ralph Webb cannot get into the end zone on the three-yard rush. So fourth and goal. We got to dig in. We got to stop him. And we do, in fact, stop the Commodores for the turnover on downs. I don't, it looked like he might have got, his knee actually went down before the ball crossed the plane, if that's what you're wondering. But now look at us. We were, we were pinned deep. But Tim King... I mean, excuse me, DeAndre Roth gets it for a 22-yard reception, making it a first down and 10 for Devin Moore. And Devin Moore is going to run, and he's going to pick up some nice yards on his feet, but he gets leveled. So on a second and 16, we're going to hand it off to Vernon Hester. He's got some nice blocks from his linemen. He picks up 10 yards, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So Devin Moore dropping back yet again. He's going to find McDowell across the middle for the first down. 11-yard reception for McDowell. He's been used... Pretty well in this game. Devin Moore dropping back again. It's going to find Robinson this time. The Swiss Army Knife for the 19-yard reception. And now Devin Moore is going to be running. And he's going to pick up a first down on his feet. 
So third and goal for the Seahawks. Devin Moore dropping back to pass. And he's going to find Tim King for another touchdown. That makes it 20 nothing Seahawks in the second quarter. We got 22 seconds left. And Tim King gets another big gain right there on the reception. So 18 seconds left. We only got two timeouts. We're going to try to score before this half ends. And Devin Moore is going to launch it long. Finds DeAndre Roth for the first down. So second down and 10, five seconds left to go. And Devin Moore finds Willie McDowell for the 11 yard reception, making it 26 nothing. Devin Moore is 11 for 12, but 216 yards. That is almost unheard of. He is eating this Commodore defense alive. So Shermer, he's gonna have to air this out long for the Hail Mary. And that's gonna result in a interception by Folks. And folks, he's got some blocks. He's looking upfield. And he might. He might just get a pick six if he can keep that energy going down the sideline. 10 5 touchdown for folks. He brought that thing all the way back for a touchdown. That was like a 103 yard pick six. That was amazing. So we go into halftime leading 34 0. The Commodores are getting smacked on this field like they're a D3 school or something like that. It's looking ugly. Real ugly if you ask me. So the Commodore is definitely gonna have to do something that they wanna try to contain Devin Moore and our receivers, but it's not working for them. Our defense, they're putting up a fight and we did not allow a single point in that first half. And that's what I like, our grimy ass defense. That's what we need, no points on that board. All right, so Commodore's back on offense. First down and 10 for Shermer. He's going to drop back the pass. He's going to throw on the run, and that was almost intercepted. So a second down and 10 for the Commodore. Shermer's going to pass it quick to his right. Find Scott for the near first down as it is third and one. Third and one for the Commodores. Shermer's going to fake the handoff to Ralph Webb, and he finds his receiver for the first down. Oh, my gosh. He's breaking so many tackles. He is a load. Kyle Anderton broke so many tackles on that one. It wasn't even funny. But uh, Shermer dropping back the pass. Second and nine. He's going to throw it up there and does not find his receiver. Shermer's not having a good day. Third and nine again for Shermer. He's going to throw it up there. And that almost gets intercepted as well. Nigel Reed just couldn't come up with it. Got to get in the gym, son. So second down and 10 for the Seahawks as they get the ball back. Hester's only going to pick up four yards on that one. May get third and six. So we're in the Wildcat formation. No, not Wildcat, but we went five wide. Devin Moore's dropping back the pass. Finds McDowell, who does pick up the first down on that one. So you guys seen a lot of slants with McDowell involved. You know, he's a slot receiver. That's what he's good for. So Devin Moore dropping back. Again, he's going to throw this one long to Tim King, who absolutely lays out for the 50-yard reception. So on a read option, Devin Moore is going to take it, and he picks up 10 yards on that one, making it second and in inches on the four-yard line. And this time, Hernan Hester is going to get into the end zone to score, making it 40-3 to three against Vanderbilt. We are, this is an unbelievable game. We, we're stopped. We're stopping them on defense, and we're just keep pouring. We keep pouring it on on offense. Devin Moore cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. All right. So this time we're gonna hand it off to Hester on the rush, and he picks up eight yards on that one. And it's only the third quarter, which is crazy. So to close out the third quarter on this play, Devin Moore's dropping back the pass. Gonna find his receiver Dockery for the first down. And now we're into the fourth quarter of play. This game's basically over. So on a second and 12, Jordan Robson gets the 14-yard reception, making it a first down and 10, his second reception of the day. So on a third and 10, five wide, the Seahawks go yet again. And Merrick is going to get the pass, but he only picks up five yards on that reception. So we will finally have to settle for a field goal. And that one is nothing but net as it goes through the goal posts to put us up by 40 by 41 now it's 44 to 3 and you gotta see texas tech beats texas state i'm not surprised by that at all you know pat mahomes i don't even know if he was playing in that game because this is uh actually he might have been playing he might have been playing yeah so pat mahomes you know he's nice 
He's nice. He's got a lot of arm strength. And Jordy Noel gets the 15-yard reception. Tanner Rodgers, we got him in the game. We're trying to get everybody involved, you know. Got a second-team offense, defense out there. So with two seconds left for the Commodore, Shermer's going to drop back the pass. Finds the receiver, Duncan, but he won't do anything. We will end up winning the game. 51-3. to three. The Commodores did not have any answers for us when it came to offense, when it came to defense. This was an overall take. Like, this was a dominating game. Devin Moore, 19 for 21, 316 yards and 83 yards rushing or something like that. I got to check the stats again. But 19 for 21, that is outstanding. Outstanding. I don't care if it's against a weak uh, Vanderbilt defense that's still outstanding to do 19 for 21 that's absolutely amazing but look at it again 326 yards excuse me three touchdowns and 83 yards rushing yeah so this guy four total touchdowns about 400 yards of total offense that's insane insane for a freshman true freshman and Tim King you know he did his thing out there on the field two touchdowns 146 yards receiving you know George Robinson being you know that Swiss Army knife he is but don't forget about DeAndre Roth he had some big catches as well and as we go to the defensive side of things you guys will see that the Huckabee brothers once again they brought the pain all right they did bring the pain you guys see Brandon up there with eight tackles and I think that's Brody right behind him but anyway, this has been another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace. When I touch a mill, I'ma be the same dude. Split the money with my gang too. And we be swerving in that Audi coupe.